Hey guys, welcome to Bonkor Bongs. This video is different from our other videos because it's a tech video. Yes, yes, the long wait is now finally over. Apple has finally launched their new iPhone SE 2020 that had been rumored for long as iPhone SE 2. We also use iPhone SE as our daily drivers and the phone runs unbelievably amazing till date. This phone is a worldwide bestseller and is known for its power pack performance in a small handy package. Its Android competitors back from its launch in 2016 cannot compete against this phone today as this phone still runs like a beast. The interface is smooth and snappy. It has that class classic square edge design, the camera is still brilliant and captures natural true to life images. Let's check the main important differences in the new iPhone SE 2020. The new iPhone SE is now enlarged to a 4.7 inch true tone display having a higher resolution of 1334 by 750. The display now produces 625 nits of brightness and has a white P3 color gamut which is wow. And here drops the atomic bomb, the current fastest chipset in a smartphone. Yes, it now comes with the A13 Bionic chip straight from the iPhone 11 series. And the A13 chipset in a sub 1080p display phone means that the performance is gonna be the best ever. The single 12 megapixel wide aperture camera now comes with Apple's portrait mode which was much needed. Apart from that, other new important camera features include optical image stabilization and not digital, white color capture and smart HDR, auto image stabilization, HEIF compressed codec for image capture, 4K recording till 60 FPS which was previously till 4K 30 FPS, slow motion of 1080p till 240 FPS which was previously in 720p to 40 FPS or 1080p 120 FPS, also cinematic stabilization, 8 megapixel photo while 4K recording, recording and compressed HEVC codec and stereo audio recording. The front camera is now 7 megapixel and capable of capturing 1080p video recording. And can you believe the phone is now water resistant up to 1 meter deep till 30 minutes. It also has significantly longer battery and supports an awesome 18 watt charger <coughs> sold separately. The phone now also has loud stereo speakers, AR support but unfortunately misses on the headphone jack. So that was all the key points to be shared. So long story short, the new 2020 iPhone SE has the design and display from the iPhone 8, the internals from iPhone 11 and 11 Pro and the cameras from the iPhone XR. Now if Apple prices this phone competitively specifically targeting OnePlus 7 and 70 and the Google Pixel 3a, then according to my opinion, this new iPhone SE should be the best deal here. In fact, it will be a steal if priced reasonably. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.